Hello, my name is Thomas Taylor. I'm the author of Malamanda, and I'm very pleased to be on the World Book Day Book Club um, today with some book recommendations for you. So I'm going to tell you some of the books I've read very, very recently that I've really enjoyed. I hope you'll enjoy them too. First of all, I'm going to talk a little bit about The Land of Raw by Jenny McLachlan. Now, you've probably already heard of this, but I just love this book. One of the things I like about books is um, stories I like are stories where you start in the real world, but you get drawn into somewhere magical. And this is a great example of that. I think actually the magical portal that takes you in is a folding bed. So that's very exciting in an attic. And I just loved it. The adventures, the, the, the creatures, the, the baddie is really great at this. I'm not going to spoil it, but it's a great baddie. And every good book, I think, should have a map. And this book's got a fantastic map. So where you can really get lost in that and enjoy it. So The Land of Roar by Jenny McLachlan is one of my recommendations. The next is The Nowhere Emporium by Ross McKenzie. The Nowhere Emporium, oh, it's a shiny one, isn't it? Look at that. So The Nowhere Emporium is, again, one of these books where it's a boy called Daniel who is in our world, in the real world. But he gets, he goes into the shop. He goes inside a shop that he's never seen before. And it turns to be a magical. It turns, it turns out to be a magical shop that can go to other places. And it's full of of um, corridors and far more room inside that shop than there should be. And all sorts of mysterious things are going on in there. And there's a, a, a mysterious girl with a secret and all sorts going on. It's really exciting. And I love this book. So that's a great one. The Nowhere Emporium by Ross McKenzie. Definitely read that. Now, this is quite a new one. This one's called The Midnight Guardians by Ross McKenzie. No, Ross Montgomery. Now, this one is just great because this is a, a kind of Christmas story. It's um, a magical Christmas story. Again, it's set in the real world, but the boy in this, this story, his name's Cole, who has to go on an adventure. He's accompanied by his own imaginary friends, kind of, his own sort of toys from childhood that have kind of come alive to, to accompany him. And they're great characters. Um, I just loved it. It's got a very magical sort of box of delights feeling about it. Really good story for Christmas or for any time, any time you fancy an adventure. The Midnight Guardians by Ross Montgomery is a great, great read. And then um, the, this is quite a new one again. This is The Weather Weaver by Tamsin Mori. And I love this book. This book was published only a few months ago and it's set in Shetland and it's, it's all about a kind of weather magic. And this boy, this girl, sorry, this girl, um, whose name escapes me, but she um, learns, um, I think her name is Stella. Anyway, she learns how to sort of um, uh, talk to clouds and she becomes friends with the cloud and the cloud has a kind of personality. It doesn't speak, but it kind of expresses itself. And it's really exciting how, how the author has managed to make that work. It really does work. That's why I love this book. It's really great fun. It's full of the sea and um, islands and sea witches and all that sort of thing. So if you like Malamand, you're sure you'll like this. And then finally, I'm going to show you the book I'm reading right now. I've just been sent this book to read. I haven't even finished it and I'm already recommending it because I just think it is absolutely brilliant. It's called The Way to Impossible Island by Sophie Kirtley. And um, it's got a cave girl. It's got history. It's got an island. It's got mystery. It's got this great male character who's kind of one of the heroes. Then this girl called Moth Girl, who is this cave girl. Um, this is the other hero and they live in two different times but those times collide it's really 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 well written and very very exciting so that's what i'm reading now and i'm already recommending it without even having finished it so there you go so thank you very much for asking me for my recommendations and i hope you enjoy them um and cheerio